Hi again. This is Easy Trend Camp Poland Day 4. In the morning, uh, we went with Joshua Craig on the front. It was actually free time, but he was so good to allow us to, uh, in the schedule, which I can uh, post up, uh, uh, to, to have a session with us and, and do something. So some of the exercises uh, I'll go through. First one, uh, at least to the best of my memory, some of them might be missed, and I uh, just remember uh, this is my interpretation, my understanding of what he was doing. Uh, and it's not to say that he actually did these things, but, <laughs> but I'm trying to um, give you an idea at least of the exercises that, that was taking place um, as to my recollection right after doing them, okay? Uh, so one was the swing exercises where, you know, you put your hand up and you let it drop, okay? We did that, uh, and, a, and a variation of that also, when we hold it to the side and let that drop, okay? Relaxation is key. Another thing we did was, uh, that we didn't do earlier, is the swimming version of this, whereby we're holding up our arms, one is face up, one is face down, and we rotate our body so that this arm comes up, that arm goes back, okay? And we did the same for the other side. So it almost looks like we're doing a backstroke. Okay, so we did that one first one for a little while, then the backstroke. And then we did slow, like jumping jacks, where we put up our hands like this, rotate our body, and let both drop to opposite sides. Coming up to the side, letting both, see this? It wasn't even. Letting both the drop to the other side evenly and it's easy to do it fast and mess it up but to actually do it slowly and allow yourself the time to observe what's happening in your body you're you'll you're then able to do the exercise correctly so getting just a physical structure was his key at that point um but also you should be able to feel the the energies within your body the conditioning and expanding uh the going up and down that should help you get that motion happening um and uh, and relaxation keeping relaxed that's exercise number one, the, the swinging, uh, and and there's there's variations of, of the swimming, swing backwards, this little like jumping jack um, alternative one, um, and that was that was important. Next thing is he had us grab a stick, and with a stick he had us do a wrist wrist stretch, so we would twist our wrist all the way over here, and then we would get a little bit more. What is it over here, and then come up with the other side where the stick was and and then and then we will push it downwards so that we would twist and get a little more stretch out of our wrist and we did the same for the other side um, so we did both ways a couple of times and that really I think that was like a, a stretch just a basic stretch for our wrist uh, we also stretched our back took our stick uh, opened up so that we weren't contriving our way and then had a stretch backwards like that that was pretty nice um, has holding it backwards and then coming up just until just until we could. Um, you know, I'm not showing it very well because it's it's a uh, it's a close space here. Um, but but that was that was interesting how we had the how we had us do that. Um, then we did a bit of squatting. It's interesting because like, I should show you it anyway. We came all the way down. We had our hands. We had our hands up with the stick, and. Not to pull up with the knees was the key um, with our with our huge muscles here, but rather pulling up by our qua, our hip joints, and our glutes. That was the most important part of this. And those are good, wonderful muscles. Whereby the, you know the the knee doesn't have that many muscles. I'm uh, you know looking into it for the reason why he had us do that. Um, so the condensing and expanding in that squat while having our hands up holding the stick um, and feeling our quad open, feeling our glutes open and, and, and going back down and, and not just sitting because that's something I made a mistake and I just sat, you know, it's easy for me to do. But you, you should always be feeling that hip and coming back up. So that was one thing. Uh, let's look at the fourth thing was the, the bounces. I call them the bounces. I don't know what the bounces are for. Uh, <laughs> do, you, do you know what the bounces are? Which, which, we just we're, we're, we're like we just just for relaxing. Just relaxing. Basically, relaxing. Relaxing. Relax all the structure. Relaxing your structure. He <coughs> also had us uh, do a hip roll after we did the bounces for a little bit, uh, and the hip roll was just to notice the the clock's positions 
of our of our of our hip going up twelve o'clock and uh, down to three and going up and going up and down and we were stepping forward and back right yeah, yeah stepping forward and back going with our hips sideways. and sideways just just to just to feel and 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 get that relaxing feel I thought that was nice um so we walked with it a little bit um okay the next one yoga uh qua so we did some yoga exercises actually um and i thought that was pretty nice um we did the um we held our leg we did a leg extend so we brought our leg up we held it okay while keeping our axis and i'm not doing it too well so <laughs> keeping our axis we held our leg up then we we extended it he told us we can either hold our leg here or we can hold our leg back here and extend it um and we were to feel that opening and closing motion with our hips and the quad and filling all of that and then and then bringing it back up again and then he had us do sort of like a, I'm gonna call it a same pose but there's an asana name for it uh, in Hindi um, which is basically after holding this he had us bringing it backwards here you feel that stretch there and then going backwards tilt so we were tilting around <laughs> exactly exactly we were tilting our axis okay which was which was awesome um and and we were able to feel the quad now some people like me i was leaning uh and that wasn't that wasn't very good so you uh you should fold into your quad if you're going down you're folding into your quad and that's going to keep your hips aligned and balanced okay everyone's eating breakfast right now so i'm trying to make this video quick so i can um have some food there for me to um gain energy from you know that's important anyway so uh so that's sort of like the same pose the quad fold um there's another one that he did whereby he had us standing here and we were right here and he had us uh, he had us open our legs Open our qua, and then close our qua. And just open it and close. And he did that for both sides. Um, and that was really great for bringing awareness to where the qua is at. Um, I, I found that fascinating. You know that I actually got more understanding of the qua through these yoga exercises. Another thing he did was the the tree pros. Okay, so so we often came back to this. And from this, he had us bring both legs up, holding both from the bottom here, pushing it up, not just from here, not just from here, pulling both up, putting it on either our hip, if you if you have you know been doing this often, uh, or or on your on your um, on your thigh, coming down, folding into the quad, and relaxing and feeling that, and doing that from both sides, and then. You can imagine how he had us combined all those elements by coming back to the rest position of holding our leg upwards to the sky. Okay, so you can you can sort of see what's going on, um, and, and so we got a good feeling of the qua through these yoga positions, um, these different things that we were doing, uh, and I thought that was fascinating. So kudos kudos to Joshua and and, and for um, for introducing me and, and and everyone else to that. Um, Open and close this is the next exercise. Open and close and absorb and project sort of exercises. He has kicking with a partner, swinging your leg, uh, swinging our leg going up, going back, and holding our partner's hand while we did it. Just, just, just relaxing, relaxing and doing it, relaxing and doing it, and switching and, and doing the same thing. I thought that was great stuff. All right, so we were relaxing, we were, op uh, you know, um, with our partner and doing that. And he also has doing that on our own. Uh, and let's see, lunges. Uh, we weren't actually, it was, the, the idea was not to lunge. He never said the word lunge. <laughs> but it was in a lunge position, for sure. Uh, and it was sort of like we, were, we went down, stretching all this, filling the qua open. And I think we had our hands above us. Do we have our hands above us when we were doing the lunges? Did you eat breakfast already? Yeah, I ate breakfast. Did you already. eat breakfast already? Okay. <laughs> so, I don't know. I, don't, I can't remember if we had our hands above us. Okay. But the, what was that purpose? The purpose was to feel the quad, right? Um, I'm not sure what the purpose of that exercise was. But so I'm not being very helpful. It's okay. It's okay. Neither am I for, for this video. But um, 
and, and we did it for this, uh, with a step later on whereby we changed positions. So we were facing one direction, then we faced the other direction. And we really felt ourselves consistently expanding, and we felt our, our core opening and closing. And you can, you can suppose what the reason would be. Okay, uh, he also had us doing sort of like a side-to-side -side motion with our hands, following it while, while rotating our axis. And he had us doing this with steps um, and stepping backwards. So there was a lot of 45 degree angle steps happening, whereby we would take this motion and turn with it. Take this motion and turn with it. Take this motion and turn with it. And we sort of did you know, this, this, this position, then this position, then this position, in a, in a um, not a diagonal, but rather a, a, um, a cross so up down, over left, right, and it's not following my fingers when I'm saying it, but whatever, and then uh, we'll, we'll, he went, I was doing, uh, let's see, hands in front, I'm going to call it hands in front, step with project and back with absorb, so uh, that's really confusing when I just said it, um, but here, absorbing and stepping forward, condensing, coming back, doing the same thing here. You know, so what is it? Looks like this, yeah. Coming back, and then you know, coming up and coming, going back, in, in that fashion, and, and absorbing and, and projecting while doing all those things. And the same thing with the hands in front, and and so you're absorbing and, and projecting, and the same thing for coming back and and open. Uh, so those are sort of open and close exercises with absorb and project uh, energies, and and I thought that was important. Another thing is important is, yeah, there's breakfast going on, and yes, I only have a half an hour more to eat, but video blog, I do it because memories f are fleeting sometimes, and with everything, the consistent, continuous cycle and nature of camps and the fluidity of everything that's going on, it's easy to forget. So, so for example, uh, I am doing day four morning without having done a total summary of day three because I felt really sleepy and tired after having um, done a lot yesterday. And there was a, there was a night discussion with Joshua Craig uh, and talking with him and, and, and discussing uh, the system guide. Read your system guides. Read the different books. Know your stuff um, is, the, is the point of the story because a lot of the questions were simple. A lot of the questions and a lot of this, this art of Ely Chan is uh, not to be complex, there's a lot of simplicity involved in it. But if you don't study it, if you don't see it, if you don't look at it, um, if you don't learn, if you don't try uh, to go after it, you just won't succeed in it. Uh, and, and, and that's really important to come to the realization of knowing this, these, these elements uh, and, and knowing the vocabulary, the language of it all. Um, it's, it's quite fascinating and important. So, so when you're here, writing is nice. But if you want to be communicative, I'd say I recommend video blogging because I like it better. And maybe you do too since you're watching it. Who knows? So um, even though there's no time and even though I have a half an hour left for, for eating food, when everyone right after exercise, one hour to, to have schnadania in Polish, meaning uh, breakfast, um, I came here and video blogged. And I think that might, um, that might be helpful to you and helpful for myself later on. And many blessings. Have lots of fun with these exercises. There was, I mentioned... One, two, three, four, five. And, and we'll see what comes of uh, more later on. Bye.